Hey y'all, it's Marissa and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to bring this video to y'all because I have been waiting for literally weeks to get this in the mail and so I finally get to show it to y'all. Today's video is going to be a beginner's bullet journal haul. So basically this is my first year bullet journaling. Um, I know it's been around for a couple years now but I have finally decided to start diving into this bullet journaling thing. So I purchased my own and I purchased some supplies but only to kind of get started. I know a lot of people will spend tons of money on fancy fine liners, pens, highlighters, mild liners, all these things, brush pens, calligraphy pens, all these things, and it can start to add up, especially for beginners who don't know if they're gonna like it or not. I wanted to kind of purchase low, make sure that I like it too, but let y'all know what I purchased as a beginner bullet journal that can get y'all started on the low. Before we even dive into that, I just want to let y'all know all you need is a notebook and a pen, honestly, to bullet journal. It could be any kind of notebook. It could be a grid notebook, it could be a dotted notebook, it could be a lined notebook, it could be some printer paper that you folded in half and stapled into a notebook. Literally all you need is paper and one pen to bullet journal. Of course people like to color in it and doodle in it and make it fancier and prettier and stuff like that but that is not necessary and don't let that stop you from bullet journaling. Don't let other people's journals stop you from making your own journal just because you're kind of worried it's not going to turn out like theirs or it's not going to be too pretty. Just go with it, create your own thing and have fun with it. That's literally the whole point of it. Before we dive in on this bullet journal haul, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button down below and let me know if y'all are thinking about taking up bullet journaling or not in the comments. I wanna know who's thinking about it, who's already doing it. Okay, so the first item on the list is obviously gonna be the bullet journal. It's the most important thing. And I bought the Scribbles That Matter Pro version in the A5 dot grid style so and I also got it in pink because y'all know I like pink they do have other colors they have an iconic version which has kind of like doodles all over the cover which I thought was super cute but I did kind of want to just keep it simple get the pink version and the pro version of the scribbles that matter a5 so this is the bullet journal that I did get it still has this is not on the journal this is just kind of a cardboard thing that comes on it I literally just picked this up off my front steps and then sat down to record this video because I've been waiting on this to come for y'all so that's why I literally just took it out of the package when you do order a scribbles that matter it comes in this little plastic container to keep it safe while it's shipping and that's just right inside there literally how I found it and I took it out and this is still how it is now like I said earlier in the video all you really need is the journal and some pens so we're gonna start out really simple with just the kind of pens that I'll be using um, in the actual writing portion of it so when I'm writing down my tasks or actually like bulleting in my journal I like to use the G2 Pilots. Um, these are my favorite pens even to take notes on for school. I got like two different sizes. So I have the 0 .05 and the 0 .38. So this one's gonna be a little bit thicker. This one's gonna be a little thinner so you can have some dimensions and certain things that you write. Now, of course, if you wanna get fancier, you can also get some colored pens. So these are the Pen and Gear pens. I got these in like a huge pack at Walmart. I'm only showing a couple colors, of course. These are in 0.7. So these are for if I'm trying to get fancy and I just wanna kinda doodle and color with some pens. Just keep it simple, like I said, buy a black pen, buy a red pen. You can do so much with just two different pens, but if you wanna keep it super cheap and simple just to see if how you like it, buy some black pens, buy some colored pens, and start there and I'm sure y'all see this everywhere is people are going to be doodling in them and coloring in them and I'm sure that you want to as well or just add color to your journal you don't have to actually color pictures but just adding color to your journals makes it more fun of course and I went and bought the Crayola super tip markers in a pack of 50 um, at Target and they were like six dollars from Target they are really cool because they have kind of a pointed tip but then you can also make them fat if you draw sideways with them so in one marker you can get two different sizes of the lines that you'll be drawing or things that you'll be coloring so if you want to start out simple but still try to see your creativity flow highly 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 suggest the Crayola super tips in the 50 pack because you get so many color options and they have two different tips well not two different tips they have the two styles that you could draw in and you can also start to dabble in the calligraphy a little bit before you go spend some money on calligraphy pens I know a lot of youtubers and just bullet journals in general they use like the Tombow dual brush pens um, with like a calligraphy pen on one side and a tip on the other some people will still get dual pens with one fat side and one small side again those can kind of add up so I went to my Michaels and Michaels always has coupons either online you get them through the email certain things are always on sale so I went to Michaels and bought um, I think like a, only a 12 pack of these little art minds dual tip permanent markers so these are a little kind of like sharpies but they're cheaper and so one side is fatter and the other side is a super fine tip so I got these to also add some color and just to have two different tips to start out with because again these are cheaper than any kind of Tombow dual brush pens or just dual 
pins in general that bullet journals usually use. The last kind of pin or writing utensil that I'm going to show y'all is my fine liners. So when I ordered my Scribbles That Matter off Amazon and one of the recommended things were some fine liners and I said, oh, I should probably get some of those. I know a lot of people use them, but again, I wasn't trying to spend a lot of money because I am a beginner. So I bought these. They're Sippa. I don't know if I'm saying that right. They're just Sippa um, and they're in point three eight millimeter they were only I think like $5.99 off Amazon and they come in a pack of 10 I want to say or even 12 the last thing that I bought specifically for my bullet journal is this cute little pouch um, it's from Target in their little dollar spot I still have the little tag on it because I just bought it today and it says glitter is my favorite color but it's pink and it matches and I got it to fit some stuff in here so when I have to take stuff to classes or if I'm leaving somewhere I can take some of my pens and fine liners with me um, in general when I go places with my bullet journal one more thing I want to show y'all is this new DIY project that I made to hold all of my new bullet journaling stuff because I'm just crazy and I like to DIY stuff and I love stationary items so I did buy like I said a 50 pack of markers a 12 pack of fine liners washi tape stickers all these things I had already before so I wanted to kind of have a place to put it so I made this DIY project out of foam board it's super cheap super affordable I will link the video in the cards and also down below if y'all want to check it out but I do want to show it to y'all because it's super cool and if you end up buying some stuff you can always make this for yourself too and it only cost five dollars if that so let's check it out here is my DIY project I made this out of foam board and with some hot glue gorilla glue a ruler an exacto knife and just glued all these pieces together so it's holding my markers and my little fine liners in them some washi tape in the back I have little stamps pads so I can stamp some stuff more washi tape I tried to color code it just so it looks a little prettier um, on this bottom little shelf I have a whole bunch of stamps a whole pack of red themed washi tape because um, you know Valentine's Day is coming up and some other little stickers stamps and stuff like that so this is kind of the hub for my bullet journal that I'll be using and if you'd like to make one definitely check out the video that I have linked because it's super easy and affordable little DIY for your bullet journal so I started super cheap this time again I only bought a $20 bullet journal um, I spent five six dollars on some fine liners I spent six dollars on some markers I think like $3.99 on my g2 pilot pins all that kind of stuff is super cheap and affordable and things that you can use for other things so if you decide not to continue bullet journaling you can still use markers for other things so these things aren't really wasted just make sure you like it and you love it and you're really gonna use this system before you go and spend a lot of money on the, the cool brush pins or calligraphy pins and all that good stuff that's just my tips to you as a beginner so again please let me know down below what y'all are using to do your bullet journaling and also if you're planning on starting a bullet journal let me know because I'm super excited that I'm starting this journey and I want to see who's on it with me make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any other bullet journal videos because I'm planning on sending out like two or three in the next couple of days or even weeks because I want to do a look through of the setup that I've created different little designs that I'm starting as a beginner so if you're gonna start this journey why don't you start it with me and let's do this together follow me subscribe I hope this video was helpful and I hope that it kind of inspired you to start a bullet journal even if you're a little bit scared you got to start somewhere and here's kind of my beginner's haul that y'all can start out with um, on the low on a budget see if you like it before you kind of dive in and I'll see y'all next time bye